Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Babasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. I'm coming at you from a beautiful Lamo and this destination has been in my bucket list for forever and I'm finally getting to take it courtesy of Dream Africa Tours. I will leave Dream Africa Tours down below in the description box. They are my tour company of choice when I need any trip planned because you guys know I like planning my own trips but when I need a trip planned, Dream Africa Tours are the guys to go to so we are staying at the majlis we because i'm here with my bestie for one boy who better to you know take a destination than with her with <laughs> so we're staying at the majlis let me show you a bit of the vibe oh your bit um there we go there we go just look at how beautiful this place is and there's another pool on this other side and it has a very pretty moroccan vibes i'll take you guys to it later on and as you can see the ocean is right there you can see the blues and you guys this place has a clean which i have never seen um stunned i don't know why we ever talk about any other destination like a coastal destination here in africa because that i have never seen a beach like that in my life like this this is better than the beach i i saw okay let me let me not over exaggerate for you guys i'll just show you guys so that you can see for yourselves so yeah we're staying at the majlis and uh we're from breakfast as you can see i'm wearing a t-shirt and some shorts we're not yet dressed this t-shirt is actually from um some of the new bush dip match as you can see we're manifesting money always so let me take you guys to the room and do a quick photo tell you guys about the beach look at how clean it is look at that where do you know that looks like this please 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 and a beautiful view this one <laughs> <laughs> for the first time i was actually talking about you <laughs> and here is our uber taking us to that other side yeah, I will. I guess I can leave his number in case you guys are also looking for uh, uh what, what can we call it? Boat Uber. Boat Uber. <laughs> This is Mary Street, is Harambe mm -hmm. Highway. Used to be a seafront before. The water used to be here, so it used to be a seafront. All this house used to be built by the Omanese people because of colonization by the Omanese people. The population in Lamu is 35,000, 85% are Muslim, other percent are Christian. We have 28 mosques and 7 churches in Lamu. We have 28 mosques. 28 mosques, 7 churches. We have 1,500 donkeys in Lamu. You take them for census? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to 70,000. 70,000 people? No, in, here in Amu. This is Amu, not Lamu. Ah. Amu Island. 
Am Island, 35,000 people, 85% are Muslim, other percent are Christian. We have 28 mosques and 7 churches. This have been doing this 12 years, I've been studying this So what's the difference between Amu and Lamu? When you put air, so we have compared until Manda Island, mm -hmm. we have Manda Island and Pathe Island, we have until mm -hmm. mainland in Gabi. So Lamu is the whole, the whole island. island. Oh. This is where they make the boutique, the nice clothes, they make it here. They're very they good too. Yeah. Best. <laughs> Okay guys, so in case it wasn't completely obvious, we are touring Old Town Lamu. We have a guide right there at the front. I will leave his contact in case you guys are trying to reach him. So yeah, when there's little bits of information, I'll just be plugging him in. The house building, all our house building by corals, no tumor inside. Mm. And the coral, we have three kind of coral. We have this kind of shell coral, and we have small corals called tiger coral, and we have block corals. All this is come from Manda Island. And who digging the coral is a Luo people. There's a Luo tribe, they have Kisomundogo, is uh, the one who digging the coral. In Manda? In delivery in Manda Island. When you're going by Sunset Cruise, we have Sunset Cruise afternoon maybe, if you like to do that. We get inside, you see there where they're digging the coral, very beautiful. And the roof, we use mangroves. We use mangroves, everything mangroves. Make the way mangroves is the roof, what we're using for the uh, uh, mangroves. And our door made by African mahogany hybrid. That is mahogany hybrid. But that now, we can't find mahogany. They use mbule, that is kind of a second mahogany. That we use it for building and making chair, door, bed. Mm. Okay, so now we've come to a silver seed shop. They sell um, real legit silver. It's supposed to be affordable, so let's go see how affordable it's actually. This is broken ceramic as a result of shipwreck. 400 years back, we got Chinese shipwreck in Nam, a place known as Shanga, or Pathe. So normally this is how we collect like this, then we recycle. We make us pendants, some rings, also earrings. Very unique. So what happens when people collect the things that we have? We still collect each every day. Yeah. We also have different types of uh, Rings, also pendant like this, we call a moon and star. The Lamu eye. Good luck for Lamu. Yeah, in olden days they used the star for navigation because there was no Google map, there was no GPS. So they say the star can take me to Zanzibar, to Mozambique, to Seychelles, everything. Hey guys, back again from lunchtime, all changed up in a swimsuit, swimsuit with wash drip, kamakawaida, we are now here to get our uh, Uba, I was about to say Uba Boda. <laughs> uh, Uba boat to go to the other side, which is Shella. So, yeah, can't wait to see what's in store for us.
is day four in paradise i even scraped <laughs> my chin uh in the pool yesterday evening and <laughs> I regret nothing because the shots I got were really really beautiful now before we go ahead let us get changed for the day hey guys so today we are at Manda village this is a weaving community it's a community where both men and women weave population of about 4,000 so let's go ahead and see what Manda has to offer for us meaning we are about to go and chase the sunset so let's go and on today's itinerary we have a water sports and you guys already know I'm only super excited for that I have my GoPro ready so let's head into the water mm -hmm. 